Hello, welcome back. Day 86 of this art development series. Um, if this is your first time here, my name is Angela Wren, and this is a series I'm doing where I document my everyday art practice um, and how I'm growing as an artist during this period. And uh, I hope you had a nice weekend. I post Monday to Friday, so we haven't seen each other since day 85 last week. Um, and we had just come off of a pretty intense session of Anatomy Month of working on anatomy uh, every, more or less every single day in January. So we look at the front of the body, the back of the body, the arms, the legs, um, and are even now spending some time putting everything together. Uh, so if you've been following along, last week I was saying that um, I have really been feeling a little burnt out on all of the technical work that we've been doing in the sense that all of the studying of anatomy has been like eating up all of my art time and I haven't been actually, I haven't done any actual like creating art. Like I haven't felt like I've really been expressing myself or doing the kinds of drawings that I want to do. Now this changed a little bit last week when I worked on this uh, figure drawing, this laying figure drawing pose, which by the way, if you want to win that drawing, um, I am, when we reach a thousand subscribers, I'm going to randomly pick somebody, uh, for that's subscribing to my channel and I will send them that drawing for free. I'll sign it. I'll put a, you know, a nice cover on it and everything. Um, and then, and then send it to them for free. Uh, so I, I think that should be kind of a cool way to interact a little bit more too with the, with the community. Um, <clears throat> but this was really the first drawing I did actually after all of this intense anatomy study. Um, and, you know, I got a question in my Discord channel. Uh, so we have a Discord channel called Studio 35 that's um, a mem members of this community, but then also members of, uh, I used to have a Twitch channel, so members of my, of my Twitch community. And we were talking about, uh, do, I, do I think that all the studying of anatomy has made me a better artist? So first of all, I think that that drawing speaks for itself on some level. Like, yeah, I think that that's one of the better figure studies I've done in my life. Um, but just in general, I think without a doubt, actually, 100%, this process has made me a better artist. Um, and if you have been thinking about if you want to study anatomy or procrastinating it, uh, maybe this could be the sign that you need or let my example serve as like the evidence for why you should actually take that time and start to study anatomy. Um, and I will say as well, you can get much further studying anatomy with much less time than you think you need. Um, just looking at it a couple hours a week is enough to take you to a pretty far level. So I actually plan, even though we've now finished Anatomy Month and we're going to move on from it, I plan to continue to study anatomy in my drawing practice. Um, so I might throw it in, you know, like one or two days a week or uh, maybe on weekends or something like that. But I always kind of want to be revisiting and going back to studying anatomy uh, because there's more to learn there. And I can confidently say that, yes, studying anatomy. Oh. There's an expression I like that kind of speaks to this, which is this sentence of uh, the way you do one thing is the way you do everything. And there's a, a couple different layers to this, but one of the layers is definitely that all the things that you do come into and express in some ways the things that you're doing. Um, so this is for me why actually I really like, one of the reasons that I really like taking care of my physical and mental health um, outside of just drawing. Um, and why I like going to the gym and why I like exercising is that the better I feel physically, I find that actually it can help even improve my art practice. And vice versa, by the way, those two things also play on each other, uh, where being a better artist can actually make you better at other things in life too. So anyway, this is the first thing, uh, is, is your physical health and your physical well-being. The second one um, is what I call like the openness of, uh, or the, the openness to the lightness of life when you're sitting down to draw. And what this means to me is that when I'm sitting down to create something, I need to be open to whatever expression is gonna come through me and whatever expression I might form on the page. Um, I have to be open to that serendipity, to understanding that you know I can't control everything about this drawing and that some things are gonna happen that maybe I really had no control over. Um, I think every artist has had that experience where you sit down to do a drawing and somehow things just come through you and you and you create something that you're, wow, I, I didn't even know I could do this or like, wow, I, I don't know if I, if I tried, could I replicate this exactly? I don't even know. Um, and that's like a really strong feeling to have that openness um, in what I think is like a really great tool. And then the third thing for me is this idea of uh, having some kind of inspiration. Um, so this idea of like feeling inspired and wanting to draw. And for me, on 
any, having any one of these three is good actually. So that's already good. If just one of these three things is, are in place. And to me, the easiest one to control is your physical health. So how you're feeling. Um, so, you know, as I said, going to the gym, making sure you get enough rest, make sure you're drinking enough water, these kinds of things is really the easiest in, in, to control. Then the second one, this openness, you can control it as well. Uh, it's a little bit harder because you have to kind of enter these emotional states and try and like capture this, you know, as I'm saying, this like lightness and openness of life and capture it in an internal state, but it's possible. It's all mindset. So, you know, something like a meditation or something like a walk before you're drawing can kind of help open you up to that spirit. Um, and so if I have those two, I'm already going to have a great session. Two, two, one out of the three, good. Two out of the three, great. And then three out of the three is really like where it all comes together in an amazing way. Um, and for inspiration, to be honest, I have no formula for that. Um, and I really think inspiration is just one of those things that it comes and it goes and you, you find yourself in moments of inspiration and you can try and maximize those, but it, it's, it's hard. It's such a fickle, ethereal thing, inspiration. Um, and I think that's why it's actually important as an artist to not rely on inspiration. Uh, because it's just too, it's too fickle. Like of those three things, it's the one that I have the least. And so if I always relied on it, I would very, very rarely have a good drawing session or be able to draw. Um, and so I think this is, uh, about everything I wanted to say today. I think I've probably talked over most of the time lapse at this point. Um, but for today I was doing another figure drawing, just doing kind of a block in, um, talk, doing, using a lot of the same techniques that I did, uh, in a previous drawing. Um, so I will leave with that and we will see you again, you can choose it again tomorrow for day eight.